Hey y'all, out here in, uh, I'm out here in the country, that's where I'm at, but uh, anyways, a couple weeks ago I was at a car show and uh, I met some real nice folks, they had a couple of Mopars and uh, talked to them and arranged to uh, meet them out here at, uh, well near their house at a school so that we could shoot them and uh, I think you're going to like both these cars, one is a 69 and then one's a late model car, but uh, the late model uh, car I've been trying to find one that's nice and I found a really nice one, so anyways let me get this set up and I'll bring them to you. Dwayne, how are you, brother? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Well, 69 Dodge Super B, uh, fiberglass liftoff hood, 446 pack, uh, detonator yellow. Uh, Is that an original color? It's not. It's actually a new color. Uh, the old Mopar colors was uh, top banana, and uh, it was another one I can't even remember what it was. but. Uh, that is a new car color. It's actually an old Southern color. It's a Chrysler color, though. It is a Mopar color. Yeah. Is it PPG DuPont? What kind of, you know? It's DuPont. Yeah. Uh, it's Centauri, actually, uh, chroma base with uh, two, base, two base coats, three coats of clear. Did you do the work yourself? I did. Cool. How long did it uh, take you? The total restoration was about two years. Cool. And is it something that you always wanted, a 69? I grew up around these old Mopars, and neither did have them when I was a kid, but once I got up older and I guess a little more financially able, uh, prices went up, but I was able to find some of them. What condition was this one in when you got it? I actually brought it home on a trailer, and most of the parts were in boxes and buckets. Oh, okay. So it was a basket case? Pretty much. Wow. And where'd you find it at? I found it in Russellville. Uh, a guy had bought the car about 10 years ago uh, with hopes of restoring it, and uh, he had a heart attack. In other words, able to get back on the car. He kept it in his garage for about 10 years, and I found out about it, asked him about it, and he agreed to sell it. Cool. Has he been able to see the car since it's done? He's not. Oh. I've been able, trying to contact him, but I haven't been able to. Okay. Well, hopefully he's still around. Maybe you can see it on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. That's right. Now, does this, is this a numbers matching car? It's not. It's a true big plot block car, and it's a true Super B, but it was actually a 383 car. Uh, it wasn't originally a 446 pack car, although that is a true 69 446 pack engine. Okay. So the numbers don't match, but it's period correct, and uh, the car could have came with that motor. It could have. Right. Yes. You know any kind of what the production numbers were on this car? I really don't. I know it was sort of the low production, but uh, I don't know exactly what it was. All right, cool. Well, let's take a look around. Okay. I mean, it's a nice straight car. It didn't have any rust in it. No. Hardly at all. It was just a part. It was just took apart. The guy had gotten to the point where he was getting ready to do some work on it, and then he had some problems. He had had it so blasted and ready to paint. Or he said it was ready to paint, but I did quite a lot more to the body before I put any paint on it. Right. Well, that's the important step. You can't cover anything up with paint. No paint actually shows up a lot of bad stuff. It does. It a lot of people think it's going to hide something. It doesn't hide nothing. It magnifies it. I like that hood, too. I like when they did that flat black on them. Yeah, it's fiberglass hood, and fiberglass is not just perfectly straight. So That's right. Uh, Especially back then. Right. Yeah. Is it a real, a real six-pack hood, or is it a reproduction hood? It's actually a reproduction hood. It right. from year one. Right. The originals are just about impossible to find. Yeah, I would think they all go with the cars they're on, right? Yeah, and in a lot of cases, they sit outside and deteriorate over the years. Right. It's a good looking car. You just don't get to see many of these anymore. Super B emblems on it. I like those. And that tail light, that's I mean that's reminiscent of what the new car is, or the new car's reminiscent of what this car was. Bumpers and all that kind of stuff are original to the car? They are. Yeah. Re chrome. Right. And then you put some keystones on it. Put the keystones, they're real close to the original Magnum 500s that came out on a lot of those cars. Yeah, no, it does, yeah. You'd have to look close to know that that wasn't the real wheel on there. 
I've had people question me if those were original wheels. Right. They're actually a Keystone. Now, did you go with the same size, or are they a little bit bigger than original? They're 15s. Originally, those cars came out with 14s. Okay. And then you've redone the interior on it, too? Yeah, I re completely redid the interior. I uh, had a guy from Knoxville sew the seats for me. And I did the rest of it. And then that emblem in the, in the door panel, that's that's how it originally would have been? That's a Super B emblem. That matches the emblem that's on the vinyl topper. Okay. Yeah, sure enough. And that's what that emblem signifies is the Super Bs. They call that emblem something else, but I can't remember what they call it. It seems like it's a TriStar. Or... But only the vinyl top parts had that on the side like that. Oh, okay. And is that a real wheel or is that aftermarket? That's an aftermarket. That's actually a Grant wheel. I would have known it was aftermarket, but when you look at the wood, the wood looks like you would have been back well, then. Well, it would have been. Those cars actually came with a wood wheel on them. Uh, I have the original wheel, but it needs restoring. And, right. Uh, my wife actually got me that wheel one year for Christmas, and I just kind of like it. I don't blame you. And it's got a clock, speedometer, no tack. No tack. And it's an automatic with it on the column. It was originally on the column, bench seat car. All the, uh, all a lot of the muscle cars came with bench seats. I guess weight-wise, the bench seats less than the, uh, than the buckets. I think they just uh, cut a few luxury corners uh, and added it to the performance to, and tried to keep the price right. reasonable. And then of course there was no headrest back then. They were and they wasn't. Some came with them. Some came without them. That is an original seat to that car, and it's one without them. Okay. Yeah, that's got a real padded dash. It does. Yeah. And that's how it was. Mm-hmm. Now they talk about a padded dash, you can't even tell it's padded, but that Matter one's got a real pad on it. It was an original pad. I just covered it. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Then you had some floor mats made for it? Oh, well, they came with a carpet package. Oh, wow. Legendary interiors. That's cool. It carries a package like that. So are you happy with it? Very happy with it. Yeah, you think you keep it for a long time? I think so. Yeah. Mainly because I don't want to start another one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I sure understand that. They're a lot of work, aren't they? I enjoy the shows, but I also enjoy building cars, so I'd say within the next year or two, I'll have another one. Right. Started. I think this year I'll just enjoy taking this one out. I don't blame you. I'd want to spend some time in this one, too. What do you think your next one will be? I don't know. Definitely Mopar. Maybe a Mopar? Yeah. I don't know what want to see it. Folks, that's just one nice car. I knew y'all would like to see it. And anytime I come across a nice clean Mopar, I always want to shoot it because they're hard to find. But uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get Dwayne to pull that hood off so we can see that 446 pack up underneath it. See if I can't talk him into starting it so we can hear it. We'll be right back. Now, would have this originally had the... Uh, take off hood like that or would have it been on hinges? The A12 cars had the lift off hood because they actually came out in 69 and a half and to incorporate the cold air intake and the six pack uh, that was the reason for the lift off hoods. Okay. Boy that's a pretty motor. Those valve covers, those aftermarket or is that? They, they're actually Mopar Performance aftermarket. Okay. And is that air cleaner the original? Yeah, it is a an original. A original. A original. I got you. Mm -hmm. Have you done any other changes underneath here? Uh, it's the headers, uh, got ceramic headers, they're aftermarket. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much like it would have came stock. Uh, the valve covers would have been orange and it would have had the uh, high flow manifolds. Other than that, what you're seeing would look pretty much like it came from the factory. Right. Is that power steering? No, it's manual steering, manual brakes. Oh, no kidding. So I guess air conditioning's out of the question. Oh, by all means. By all means. You kind of sacrifice comfort for performance. Right. So that's got, what carburetors does it have on it? It's got Hollies. It's got a 500 uh, outboards. The two outside ones are 500 CFM and the center ones are 350. Uh, when you open them all up, you're in about 1300 or better CFM. So there's actually three carburetors there's in there. actually three carburetors. And they're all two barrels. They're all two barrels. Okay, and that's how you get a six-pack. Yep. Yeah, not to yep. sound like an idiot, but 
Some running down the road, say. you're running on the center carburetor, although you're pulling air through the outboards till you actually open it up. It's just like kicking a four barrel in. I got Instead you. Instead of opening up two more barrels, you're opening four. I got you. And what, do you know what the horsepower rating was on these? They were 390 from the factory. Uh, I don't know what that one is. It's had a little more work done to it. And right. Headers and all that. I haven't dynoed it. Cool. I'm guessing some more. Well, they were they were BSing back then, anyhow, in the 390. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They were they were trying to buffalo the insurance companies. They so, were. They yeah, were. I'm sure it was over 400 back I'm then. Sure if you've done any work on it, you're probably upper fours. I'm you thinking know. mid fours to upper. Right. Yeah, I don't think you're overrating it there. Can we hear it run? anything in it. Well folks, there you go. That's one nice 69 Super B. I thought you all would like to see it. Dwayne, thanks so much for showing me your car. Thank you. No problem. There you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good day. See ya.